Last week, we spoke about Kayla Malek and the videos that people are currently making at the moment trying to give her a quote unquote glow up. I was informed by y'all actually that she supposedly asked people for tips on how to glow up because she's currently going through a breakup glow up thing. Y'all, so I'm trying to have a breakup glow up right now. I impulsively called a salon and I said, get me an ASAP. They got me in in 10 minutes. I have no idea what's going to happen to my hair. It could either be a cut a color brown hair red hair black hair a bomb 22 inch extension i literally do not know what they're doing to my hair i could walk out looking ugly or hot i don't know different color i don't know i'm about to go in so wish me luck literally have no idea what's gonna happen you know when i walk out of here i'm gonna look like a completely different person <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so it was this close to growing brunette it was this close to going back to ginger then i decided let's go freaking blonde or -er. go blonde or -er. and then add 22 inch extension and spit you out and then do it again. Yeah. What should I do next? I feel like I'm on my breakup glow up era. Do I get rid of the freck? Do I get rid of the eyebrows? Do I? Oh, brunette, brunette. What so she didn't have too much of a change to her hair. Like she said, she went blonder. And I think that she looks impeccable. She looks like Kayla Malek. So obviously she is clearly wanting to have that cliche breakup glow up era, right? Where you just break up with someone and you just mm, hate them. Ew, F you, I hate you. I'm gonna glow up. I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna eat you up, babe. But this doesn't mean that she is going to change her entire appearance to appease the people who think that she looks the way she does for attention. And by the way, it wasn't necessary necessarily a oh my god guys like should I take absolutely everything away from myself completely strip myself of my personality and make it so that I'm prettier for the masses she didn't say that she briefly said towards the end of that video what should I do next it's like when people say oh which color blouse suits me better yellow or pink or when I have been too scared to commit to black hair and I've posted in the past oh my god guys should I like totally dye my hair black. <laughs> and yes, at the end of that video, she briefly for one second said, should I change the eyebrows? Which is kind of like, okay, that can be something that you can dabble around in and try and change the shape. Maybe pluck them, maybe wax them. I don't know, go completely sicko mode and just take the eyebrows off, you know? Because when I personally think of evolving appearance, especially in doing makeup, right? I used to do my eyebrows so bad that nowadays my eyebrows look completely different to how I used to have them when I was a lot younger. And look, all of this breakup glow up talk is still no excuse to be horrendously spamming her comments with trying to strip her away from everything that makes her Kayla. So somebody told her to change out her piercings, which is just like, why? What, because they're abnormal and you don't like it? Like I said, this is just an excuse for people to now really air out how they feel about Kayla's appearance just because she briefly asked, hey guys, what should I do next? Fix the nose piercing. I have been wearing hoops in my nose for years. For years. So here she says she's been wearing these for years. Look, I'm not trying to say that change is bad and that you should never listen to anybody when you're trying to have a post breakup glow up. It's just a little annoying because now is the time where she's going to really take this on board because she is in a vulnerable state, right? She's broken up with somebody and she may not show it online, but she's probably really upset about it, dude. Like, I don't know too much about it because it's like, this is an 18 year old's breakup. So I'm not going to go find the tea on an 18 year old's breakup because quite frankly, I don't care. I just obviously hope she and the other person is obviously okay. This is my staple. I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna try to take these off first like, really hard because I used Gorilla Glue to get them on. <gasps> okay. Uh -huh. I feel like these things were glued on with freaking c Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh my god, that is terrifying. Th this looks dis- I'm having like an identity crisis. What is this? <laughs> I'm so scared right now. But this actually ends up looking better. I don't want it to. I'm in my glow up era. This is the glow up era. This is gonna help me glow up. Glow down, who really knows? This is what this one looks like. And bright like a diamond. 
Oh, right in the hole, right in easy. Reminds me of some pay on. Uh God, this one's a heart. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna put the heart in this hole. Okay, it just went down the drain, so. Okay. Oh, y'all. Stop. Okay, wait, I'm gonna change the septum ring. Okay, also, no septum ring and no studs. Why is it eating? I put a little silver one in to kind of match the vibe. I think y'all were right. I no, no, those people weren't right. I'm sorry. And it's not to say, Kayla, that you don't look beautiful with these new piercings in. It's just to say that they weren't bad before. They weren't terrible before. Before, they had personality. And once again, I'm not saying that her new piercings don't have personality. It's just that two things can be true at the same time. Those yellow studded piercings look great. These new piercings also look great. Like, I'm not sure why she's trying to feed into the hate and the negativity surrounding the fact that, yeah, people don't like her appearance because it goes against societal standards. Now, I'm talking about this in the terms of the piercings because regularly I don't really see people who wear those kinds of piercings out in my everyday life. I mean, heck, I've got two very basic black nose rings, but that is because, you know, I, I, I like them a lot. And if Kay Kayla likes her yellow studded piercings a lot. Leave her alone about it! Like, this is so freaking weird to me that people are taking advantage of her emotions at the moment and trying to force this glow up onto her, which, yes, I know, she's asking for tips, but it still doesn't excuse the fact that there are so many people in the comments section that are still dogpiling on her about her appearance, which we are going to get into in a little bit. Kayla, in her most recent videos, are still wearing the same yellow studded nose piercings and I mean go her. People have obviously been begging her to change them and despite making a video saying that once again break up glow up era I kind of feel like this is showing people that yes if you are loud enough about someone's appearance that they are going to internalize that and try and change it because I don't know about you but normally when I see break up you know glow up era sort of thing we We've all gone through them. We just haven't stripped away every single little thing that makes us us. You should never be bowing down to people's opinions about your appearance and how to present yourself and to actually never be who you truly are because you could always look prettier and better and more beautiful and more trendy and more hot. Which yes, isn't Kayla's fault because she is so young and I could only imagine what she is going through right now. She is just just trying to feel better about herself since going through a breakup and I mean it's valid we've all done it before what I don't like though is that Kayla went to go get a makeover from Mr. James Charles himself if you know you know yeah he did her makeup pretty nice but I have to say I really like the way she looks when she's happy and confident with herself and it's like James really didn't do too much of a makeover 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 because he Here's the thing, the eyebrows still look the same, they're just brushed down a bit and they look exactly the same way that James Charles does his eyebrows. She has a cleaner appearance in this video, but why should she have to? Bro, the fact she got her makeup done by James Charles and then wiped it off and is still doing her makeup the same way as she did before. Do you really expect this girl to have preserved the makeup that James Charles did on her, sleeping in the makeup, never wiping a little smidge of the makeup off to constantly keep that makeup on 24 seven? Like these people don't realize how silly they sound. And yes, random person, she clearly knows what she enjoys. She clearly knows what she likes to wear. Should should I constantly do my makeup, do my hair, do my piercings a certain way to appease the masses? I think not. When I'm feeling really good about myself and I get into my tried goth get up and I do my bat's nest absolutely perfectly and I have people in the comments say, oh my god, brush it out, like it literally looks so dumb, it looks like a bird's nest. Well, that's the entire thing point, but also no, 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 no. I will do and present myself how I want to. If you don't like it, 
I'm not for ya. Also, in her most recent TikTok, she's literally going to go get her hair done. People, whenever they're doing your hair, they don't like it when you are wearing a full face of makeup for various reasons. For the fact that they need to wash out your hair and then, you know, you get this weird ass makeup line. It's happened to me. This is how I know it's happened to me a fair few times. And also, why does she have to wear makeup? Why does she have to wear makeup in every single TikTok of hers? This is exactly why people have such huge insecurities about themselves, putting themselves out online if they're not in the coolest clothes, if they're not in the hottest makeup, if their hair doesn't look absolutely amazing, because you have these people who want you to look perfect every single moment of the day. It's not possible. This chick is 18 years old. Leave her alone. It's just so wild to me that people are still using this as an excuse to push the beauty standard onto someone else just because they ask for tips on how to glow up post breakup. I don't think she means stripping her entire personality and the way she presents herself away from her. She probably just means, oh guys, should I try a new eyeliner? What's in fashion at the moment? What, what tops, what dresses should I get? Should I dye my hair brown? Because because of the weather, like it's just, my God, I'm just tired of it. And I just feel really, really bad. And it seems to be that Kayla is happy in her TikToks. And I hope that that is really how she's feeling off camera, you know, happy and okay. Because I could not imagine having the entirety of TikTok gang up on me for my appearance. It's just, it is wild, like I said. So with all of that being said, my beautiful people, look however the you want. If you have people trying to push their standards onto you, pay them no mind. Don't sweat it a bit because they don't understand what you're trying to do. And that's okay. Not everything needs to be understood by absolutely everyone. Take care of yourselves. And most of all, love your selves.